so we just had one heck of a lightning storm blow through lightning hit the tree right up here and come across and hit this pole we didn't see the hit we were a couple kilometers down the road but we Heard the bang and saw an awful flash in the sky. So that's all still energized, 12,000 volts. Would have bumped the reclosure a couple times when it hit. I'll check that over on the system thereafter. So we do have pull top extensions, but it's an easy pull to work on. So. We'll Put in a new pole there. Opened up the cutout across the street. That feeds a communication box there. Never popped the sideline. But she blew the bottom right out of that lightning rest. You can see the lead dangling right there and the fuse is blown. Before the crew from town starts heading this way, we'll try to close in that transformer. We might, uh, might have to replace that too. All right, so if we take a look off in the distance. That's the pole that had the lightning strike there tree that was hit right up there. We get our side line, everything's still intact. That's where the lightning rester blew. Now, I thought that was pretty well it. I got to get the crews geared up, head out this way with a pole, uh, lightning rester, cross arm. And I noticed this here, another transformer open. Fuse blown there. So we're two poles away from the lightning strike. And then I seen this. Now this is pretty wild here. So this is what we call a normal open. Now basically what that means is we got a substation way off in the distance down this way. And this is where the feed stops. Right here, those open switches. And on the other side of this pole, the feed comes from that direction. So the two feeds meet right here at this point. If, uh, if ever there was a large outage on the main road, we could actually close in these cutouts and open further down the line to pick up a couple hundred customers in this stretch. So I think what we'll do, we'll use, we'll use our hot sticks and we'll clear the leads off. There's no damage to the cross arm or anything on this pole. So using the hot sticks, I'll get that all clear. We'll uh, use the hotline cutters, cut, clip those leads right off, and we'll send a uh, rubber glove truck here next week. And uh, we'll also get a tag on the system that identifies the switch is being compromised so that they can see it right from a dispatch if ever they had plans on using it in the next couple days. Our dispatch will see right away that the switch is no longer any good. Let's get a closer look here. That's pretty wild. Alright, so that is energized, 72 volts, nothing left of that, that's what happens with a lightning strike. That completely evaporated all the rubber skirts off that cutout. I'm gonna jump my truck and run down the road, see see if there's any more damage. That sends some real high voltage in through this line. And uh, we well can see how far away that other transformer is that took the damage. And then the next pole, which we can't see at the moment. Definitely gonna be getting some flaggers out here. This is pretty high traffic on this road and they drive pretty quick. This guy's slowing down. Thank you. So 
So we had, uh, we had to change the pole, two transformers, a couple lightning resters, and a crew went back. Actually, this was about three weeks ago now. So a crew has since gone back and replaced the cutout at the normal open. Uh, we had a pole crew set the pole for us, and there was uh, myself, one other truck. Uh, there was one, two, I had a guy with me, an apprentice. So there's four of us. Uh, we had the whole job wrapped up in about two and a half hours. It went went pretty quick, went uh, fairly well. So it's it's pretty wild when you show up to these trouble calls. Sometimes you really have to make sure you look at the whole picture. You can you can show up to a tree that landed mid span, took out a phase, and it might have caused some damage five or six span down the line. Actually, I had a vehicle accident just Sunday morning at 3 a.m and it burned down a phase as it was tripping the OR. There was a weak spot at a sleeve. It was like 10 span away. It would have been something super easy to miss. So things have been hectic, uh, falling behind on some editing a little bit. I'm heading off to the lake tomorrow. So I'm gonna wrap this video up tonight. We got some real cool stuff coming up. Uh, Milwaukee Blades, I showed you guys in a video, I'm gonna say like six months ago, the, the hacksaw, and I was using that to cut some trees. So I got a whole whack of different blades we're gonna try out. So we're gonna take a look at that. They're wood cutting, metal cutting blades. And my dog here's been talking, so he's coming downstairs to see what's up. Uh, aside from that, guys, uh, we had a ton of vehicle accidents and copper thefts, break-ins at our substations. Real serious stuff. So I am going to share with you guys a few shots of some of the vehicle accidents. Um, there was one in particular that the pole was completely broken and the pole itself was energized. Now, our emergency response, our first responders, police, fire, paramedics, everyone that's on scene have been doing phenomenal as far as working safe around these, these incidents. And this particular accident, we'll take a look at it in a couple weeks when I get a chance to get that up. but. The cutout and the pole blew, and a lot of people see that the cutout's hanging open and assume that the wire's no longer energized. Where in this case, not only was the wire energized, but the lead feeding the cutout was in direct contact with the pole and energized the pole and started burning. And the occupant of the vehicle crawled out of the van while it was energized. It could have been a very bad situation. So I want to get some footage up and share with you guys, especially any... Uh, first responders, firefighters that watch this channel, some things to look out for in the future. So as always guys, thanks for checking in. Hopefully we'll catch up and get, I got hours and hours of footage over the last three weeks. Um, I'm going to filter through it and hopefully get some stuff out to you guys. But until next time, drop me a fist bump in the comments, work safe, and we'll see you next time.